not a haunted little 3 a.m. This is real <laughs> So, before we get into this box, let's do a little rundown of who Jeffrey Dahmer is for people that live under a rock. Jeffrey Dahmer, also known as the Milwaukee Cannibal, was an American serial killer. He was active between 1978 and 1991. All right, let's get into the box. Cool collectibles.org sticker, and this is Taylor himself. And by the looks of it saying Dahmer out there, that's how you know it's legit. Did someone say ASMR? <laughs> scared I'm not gonna lie haven't done these in a while no turning back the suspense is killing me what's this hey Jake I hope you enjoy the mystery box of Jeffrey Dahmer items some of these pieces could be in a museum but I'm glad they will end up at your place. You could probably open your own little true crime museum at this point with all the stuff you've collected. These notes will explain all the items as you go through the box. Then let's go through it. P.S. Thank you for the YouTube inspiration. My channel's been slowly building up with a ton of true crime and cool content, and meeting up with you was a big motivation to get it going. Taylor, that means so much. Thank you. This is your sign to check out Taylor's channel. Newspaper clippings saved by Lionel Dahmer. He loved to archive everything on his son. <laughs> It's kind of sad though, dude. Like finding out your son's a serial killer? Police officers trial to revive the largest questions facing city. Jeffrey L. Dahmer's sanity trial is over, but his legacy to Milwaukee is not. Wow. Confessed mass slayer Dahmer sued for three billion by missing man's cane. Jeffrey Dahmer faces another multi-billion dollar lawsuit filed by relatives of one of his alleged victims. This is stuff that you cannot find anywhere. Dahmer should be in summit court in about three to five weeks. It feels so crazy to hold on to history. If I was alive back in the day, I'd probably be one of those guys that reads a newspaper when he's taking a shit. Replica copies of Jeff's inmate performance reviews. Whoa, this is crazy information. Inmate name, Dahmer Jeffrey. Mr. Dahmer doesn't appear to like his job. He does finish his daily duties though. I feel like I'm reading someone's diary. Wow, so these are just different performances. Mr. Dahmer just started. He finishes his work daily, but he has tried to a legs in the gym. Oh, my crisp is so bad. Oh wow, so this one's Dahmer's actual statement, but I can't read it. Mr. Dahmer displayed some inappropriate behavior at recreation. It's crazy that they had to write what he was doing every single day. It's like babysitting. <laughs> These are prints taken from rare and previously unpublished photos of Jeff and his family. No way. That's him and his dad. Wow. His dad looks happy to see him. He looks like he hates his life. This is when he was a little kid. It's crazy seeing a cold-blooded killer as a child. Because at this point, he was probably just an innocent, loving little kid. And somewhere along the line, something went wrong. And he forever cursed the world with his evilness. Right here, right here, everything was okay. He wasn't an ugly guy. They're actually a nice, pretty looking family. He looks so innocent, it's just crazy to see what this person would become. I'm literally holding on to a serial killer's belongings. What is wrong with me, dude? Oh. <laughs> Here's an emotional one. A sympathy card sent to Jeff's parents after his friends heard what happened. This is gonna hurt my heart. Our thoughts are with you. And this is a little blue forest. May these few words in some way help to express our heartfelt sympathy. I'm truly sorry for all the pain that you and your wife have gone through. It would just be so hard for everyone affected. Items sent to Jeff while in prison, religious pamphlets and a postcard. Jeff got a lot of mail. Meet my friend. A little bit of Jesus stuff. Communion, a teaching sermon by R.G. Hardy. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm R.G. Hardy. It's kind of crazy how much churches prey on prisoners. Whoa, this is a big one. This is a book of letters written to Jeff while he was in prison. Fan mail, hate mail, religious mail. I put it out through Nico Clo through Serial Pleasures Publishing. I tucked in one of the original letters as well. Dear Dahmer, letters to Milwaukee Cannibal. I am someone who watches true crime documentaries to fall asleep to. So definitely reading this one every night before I go to bed. <sighs> wow. And here's an actual letter. 
Jake, I put out this book with Nico. What a collab, hey? The letter tucked in here is the original as featured in the book. Your pal, Taylor, cool collectibles. This is so interesting. Just a bunch of people that wrote Dahmer. I love you big time. Yours always, Debbie. I cannot believe he got fan mail. But I mean, all serial killers do for some reason. A letter to Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeff, hi, I'm writing to you for a few reasons, and I assure you it's not because I'm against you, or so I could say anything offensive. One reason is because I sympathize with you and what you've been through. Please don't get me wrong. I do feel just awful for the victims, but I feel like you are a victim as well. Enough people are condemning you for what you did, but I just want my letter to let you know I'm concerned with you and your problems. I'm a sensitive person, and I know the depths of despair, and I understand the longing of loneliness. I also feel for anyone who has had trouble in their life. To me, you look hurt and confused, and it got to me. I can't imagine what it's like to do what you did, but believe it or not, I could understand you may have been driven to do it because I know what depression and anger and loneliness could do to a person, even to the extent you went to. I'm not saying what you did was okay, because it wasn't, and I think you know it, but I'm writing because I don't want to be a condemning voice, but a helpful one. I'd like to share some feelings and some Bible verses. Wow. Wow. Out of everything I've unboxed so far, that one just pulls at the strings. That was probably my favorite thing from the box so far. I think it's really interesting to see their perspective on sympathy, but I just can't understand finding any sympathy for Jeffrey Dahmer. Wait. All right, here it is. The big heavy hitter of this box. An original piece of cutlery from Jeff's apartment. This, I believe, is for serving cake, so maybe you could use it on your next birthday. <laughs> Thanks so much. I hope to collab again soon. I know my viewers love it when we work together. Certificate of Authenticity. This is... This was probably in a crime locker at one point. I forgot to read this part, but it was. My stomach is literally f***ing dropping, dude. I'm trying so hard to comprehend this. This is Jeffrey Dahmer's. This is Jeffrey Dahmer's. This was in his apartment. This was sitting in his drawer. I, can, I can literally cannot comprehend this. Oh my God. Jesus! My mind is absolutely blown. Thank you so much, Taylor, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to cop some... Yeah. Merchandise. 